Welcome to Jadela Fashion Guide. In today's video, we are going to be drafting a basic bodice pattern for a top or a blouse. Okay, the measurements are in inches, and to this measurement, you are going to be adding 0.5 seam allowance. The shoulder to bust we are working with is 10, shoulder to under bust 13 and a half, shoulder to waist 17, top length 23. So, to all this measurement, you are going to add extra 0.5 inches. The ammo depth is 7 inches. If you don't know how to calculate armhole depth, you can check my video on formulas and calculations. The neckline we are working with is three and a half by six and a half. That is the width will be three and a half, and the depth will be six and a half. The shoulder is 14, the bust is 34, the inner bust is 27, the waist is 25, and the hip is 40. The nipple to nipple point is 6.5, and we'll be dividing that by two, and we have three quarter. The hip measurements. The, on, the waist, the underbust, and the bust will be dividing them each by four. And then the shoulder measurement will be dividing by two. So in today's video, we are going to be working on only the front bodies. I believe that we are all familiar with how to draft the back bodies. But however, if you are not familiar with that, you can also watch my video on how to draft a basic bodies pattern for rejoice. So I have some lines drawn out already I'm going to be taking here as my shoulder line so this is the shoulder line and then this is the edge of the fabric remember when you are cutting a bodice pattern your fabric is to be folded into two to know how much fabric to put on fold use the widest body measurements uh, divided by four then you add at least four inches extra allowances so for this measurement the widest part of the body is 40 so divided by four is 10 and then we we'll add extra four. So we we'll fold our fabric, we fold it into two with a width of 14 inches. So you will mark out 14 inches. So that means you're going to have 28 inches cut out. Here we have marked our shoulder to bust point. And so we are working with a shoulder to bust of 10 inches. And we'll add 0 0.5 inch seam allowance to that. And then Shoulder to underboss 13 and a half will add 0 0.5 inches to that, so we have 14. Shoulder to waist is 17 plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance, we have 17 and a half. And then we have the length of the blouse, which is 23, and we have added 0 0.5 inches to that. So those are the vertical measurements, we will just um, name them. So this is our shoulder line. This is our bust line. This is our under bust. And this is our waist. And of course, the top length. So we are going to be starting with the shoulder. The shoulder for this measurement is 14. So, say we are dividing it by 2 and we have 7, the same allowance, we have 7 and a half. So, we're we'll marking a 7 and a half. The neckline, say we are working with, is 3 and a half. And from those 7 and a half mark, we'll come down by 1 inch for our shoulder slope. And then we connect it to this point. The armhole depth is 7 inches. Like I said, you can watch a video on how to calculate armhole depth. And then we just mark the midpoint of that. You can fold your tape into two like this and mark the midpoint. Okay, so let's connect all the lines. So this is the midpoint. So at the midpoint, we want to have a princess that bust here. So we'll go in. First of all, we we'll mark the armhole. So we'll go in by a half inch. Then this line that we have got in here, eight inches. 
I'll just remark it here so that we can have a straight line. So this becomes our chest line. So I'm going to use the arm hook and the French covenant to draw the arm hook. Make sure it goes through here, through this point and then. to be the back ample just go through the side this place is for the back ample okay just in case you don't know how to do that i use broken lines for that so we are working on the front bodies so if you wanted to fold your back bodies remember that these front bodies are folded 14 our base our block was 14 inches so you just add 1.5 to, to, to that to have the back home. So if you want to create the back, the back will be 15 and a half. So you simply add one and a half inches to it. So let's just assume that here is for the so let's assume that here is for the back. So you simply and from here to here will be one and a half. One and a half. So that is how to fold your fabric, just in case you do not know how to fold your fabric. So this part for the back will be the zip allowance. But our major choice is on now front bodies like I said before so you can watch my video on how to draft busy bodies pattern for a dress to know how to draft the back bodies so the next thing that we're going to mark is okay first of all before we go to the dart let's mark our neckline three and a half by six and a half you don't want the you can always use any neckline of choice Okay, depends on what you are making. You can use any neckline of choice. So it is a top, so I want to have um, a stylish neckline. Uh, let me say. Uh, like the sweetheart neckline so you can always choose any neckline of choice okay this is my own and i also made a video on different necklines so you can watch that video so if i want to make a stylish neckline i can just do something like this okay However, if you want, so it depends on what you want. If you want a, um, you want a V neckline, you can create a V neckline. You want um, a curved neckline, you can do any neckline of choice. Okay, so it depends on you. Any neckline, any neckline of choice is okay. So this is the one I want to make. If we are going to be, uh, let me see. No, a V, but not a proper V. You can also do that. Something like this. Uh, let's, let me use my free hand. Something like that. So, any neckline that you want to make. Feel free. So let me just use this to create this. Okay. 
So let's move on. You can always change the neckline to suit what you want. So we are going to be marking the dart. The nipple to nipple is three, three quarter. So on the bust line, we will mark three quarter. Three quarter. And we are adding half inch to that. So we are going to be marking three, three quarter. Just mark it all through. Mark it all the way down. And then we connect with the straight roller. So we want to have a princess dart and we're going to be taking the dart from the armhole. Okay, I'm not going to be using the regular one that uh, when you mark the midpoint, then you now come down by one inch. I want to take half inch on both sides instead. Okay, so for this bust line, I don't want I want this place to be free, so I'll come down by one inch. Okay, so I'll just take my curve ruler, my French curve, and just connect from here to here. My French curve. Just connect it like so. Okay, so like I said, uh, I don't want to do the normal one that you come down by one inch to also take the dart. I want to take the dart on both sides, so I'll mark half inch on both sides. And then connect back. Connect it to the chest line here. Just blend it. Make sure just blend it to this other one. Okay, so to avoid any shortage, you can come out by half inch or you can come out by half inch so that when you are joining back to this place, it will correspond or you come out by one inch. To be on the safe side, we we'll just use one inch. If it's too much, you can always trim it out. So we extend this down part by one inch. So I said you can use half inch or one inch. So let's just use one inch to be on the side and then we roll out another. Of course, this place will not in the armhole length will have to change. So this will not be the new armhole. The new armhole curve. That will be the new armhole curve. We are going to be cutting this place out. Okay. This is for the back. We are not using this. I was used broken lines before. So to know where this uh, curve, so yeah, taking it is like this, from here, here. Okay. So the armhole length is ten inches. You can. There we have ten inches. And then to that, so I'll add one and a half for seam, for easiness and seam. Then we are not sure we did that yet. 
On the waistline, we'll be taking a dart of half inches on both sides. On the under bust, we'll also take half inches on both sides. So we connect this place. You can also use one inch as our dart. You can take one inch on both sides. So let's just let's use one inch instead. Means a bust here so that the bust can come out very well. Okay. So it depends on the bust of your of your customer. If your customer is busty, you increase it. So let's take one inch on both sides. On the waist, I also take one inch on both sides. So below the waist, you're supposed to stop at six inches. So you see this place. This is, so it's just okay. We we'll just form a triangle here. And then we connect here. It is straight line. And then we'll use our French curve to connect the on the bus towards the bus line. Like so. So we are going to be cutting out. We are going to be cutting out this section. So before we draw out the back's waistline, we just impute the bust measurement. The bust 34 divided by 4, 8.5. Plus 0 0.5 inch seam allowance, so we'll mark 9. Or let's just mark the 8.5. And then we add the seam allowance of 1.5. And, and the bus, we have um, 6.75. 6.75. Six 6.75 is here. The dart that we have taken. The dart, we mark it out two inches, and then we add our 1.5 seam allowance. The waistline 6.25. We also add the dart two inches, and then one and a half. Uh, seam allowance. This seam allowance covers the ease of sewing allowance. And then on the on this place you can mark the hip measurement because it's going to rest on the hip. If it's thin, there is no there is no dart there. You just add the seam allowance. So we'll connect all these lines together.
of course when you are cutting it will not be rough like this you just uh, you just smoothing it out okay make sure you smoothing it out with your french curve so that is basically all so is a box wigs so this is the front part this is where the box is going to be so we'll connect this to we'll connect it to the waistline okay we'll connect it to the waistline with a straight line like this so when you are cutting we'll cut we'll cut here so all this place will be out So this is your back waist. That is the back waist line. So uh, let us correct something here on this chest line so that we don't have a funny shape here. On this chest line, impute the bust measurement. The bust is 10. So impute the 10 inches. So our 10 inches is here. And the extra 1 inch that we added to accommodate the princess that is here. So to this place, we'll now add the, the same allowance. So the same allowance will now be 1.5. So from there you connect to this point. Okay. So we have come to the end of this class. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any question, you can leave it below on the comment section and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to my channel so that you can always see all the videos that i post i post videos every day so look out for my videos and i'll see you again